Good afternoon. It's an honor to be speaking in front of all of you today. My parents came to this country in search of a better life for their children. Thanks to them, I was raised in a household where the importance of education was always emphasized. My parents were aware of the endless possibilities a person had in this country. Of course, at the time, I did not realize just how important education was or what I was capable of. It was not until my sixth grade year, when our class was getting ready to register for our seventh grade classes, that I heard about AVID for the first time. I remember sitting in our classroom, and our teacher began explaining to us what AVID consisted of. She explained how pretty for college, how fun of a class it was, how you got to visit college campuses, and how it made you more organized. It was at this moment where I reflected back to my parents and their sacrifices they made. I knew AVID would be my first step to getting to college, so I decided to sign up. I remember getting the application and being so nervous. I hoped they would accept me, and they did. <laughs> I remember the first day of school in seventh grade. As I sat in my classroom, I just could not help but be excited to find out what AVID was about and to discover new things about college. I could not wait to talk about such a grown-up subject. I visited my first college, CSU Chico. I remember going to the campus and absolutely falling in love with it. I fell in love with the idea of being independent and being on my own. The idea that all the work I had put in was going to pay off one day. As I continued to stay in AVID, my teachers would always tell me, the harder you work in school, the further you're going to get in life. They even proved it when they showed us actual statistics. <laughs> Visiting colleges and understanding what it takes to get in opened my eyes. These two factors made that saying resonate in my mind. There are days where I want to push off my work and procrastinate, but the thought of me not going to my dream school or living my version of a successful life stopped me in my tracks. Avid has taught me that no matter what you've been through, what you've done, if you've done things you aren't proud of, you are more than capable of achieving the things you put your mind to. That was something that my middle school teacher taught me and was later instilled by my high school teacher. Going into high school, insecurity got the best of me. I fell into a cycle of believing that I was not good enough to achieve things. It was during this time when our sophomore class was reading a book called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teens. As all of the students went up to present what their lessons were about, I listened to all of the messages that hit home for me. The main message I took away from the book was that just because you are a teenager does not mean you can't achieve amazing accomplishments. These lessons planted a seed in my mind that blossomed into the confident person I am today. I now understood that achieving hard things wasn't a far reach for me. This was something that I had never given myself the opportunity of believing. Thanks to Avid, I overcame my biggest enemy, my thoughts. It was also during this year when my teacher became passionate about Avid. And I will admit, it was hard to adjust to at first, having to keep up with all the Cornell notes, all TRFs, but it all worked out in the end. Because of AVID, my note-taking skills are the best they've ever been. I am organized and can proudly say I'm organized without a shadow of a doubt. But not only that, AVID has taught me how to get over my fear of speaking in public. It has led me to be able to lead a cheer, to lead a cheer section at our school speak in front of hundreds of people, and proudly speak in front of all of you today. Everything that AVID teaches are things that will stay with me for a lifetime. For example, challenging yourself is important, believing in yourself will take you far, and of course, taking good notes are the key to success. <laughs> this program has opened so many paths that I wouldn't have known about had I not filled out that application in sixth grade. Something that my middle school AVID teacher did was instill the idea that students have the capabilities to take every opportunity that life throws their way and run with it, no matter what their circumstances are. It's important that teachers inspire their students to do things they're afraid of, to trust that they will gain insight, whether it's good or bad. It's equally as important for students to never take their education for granted, to understand that not everybody gets the opportunities we do. I am currently going into my senior year. 
I have lots of goals to end my high school career. And as time goes on, the idea that I am in control of my life comes into full effect. My dream is to attend universities like CSU Chico, CSU Long Beach, and Sacramento State. With the help of AVID, I plan on using all I've learned to have a successful and bright future. In closing, I'd just like to thank the AVID program for changing me in the best way possible. Thank you. Thank you.